Um, hello, my name is Matthew, and I've been working my way through the Norton Anthology of English Literature, and I just read an extract from Orchestra by Sir John Davies, and the introduction to this poem was fascinating. The first thing that I learned is that orchestra means dance floor in, in Greek, which I, makes a lot of sense and I thought was really neat. Uh, the poem itself purports to be a missing episode from the Odyssey by Homer. And it's a scene where Penelope is uh, in her home waiting for uh, Odysseus to finally come back from the war. And the home, her home is overrun by suitors. And the foremost suitor is Antinous. And Antinous is asking Penelope for a dance. And Penelope refuses, and uh, Antinous makes his argument, and they have a debate about the meaning of dance, and that's what the poem is about. And Antinous really swings for the fences. He claims that dancing is aligned with the true nature of the universe, and that all of the planets and moons and stars all moving along in one galactic dance and he's explaining this to Penelope that their dancing is aligning themselves with nature it's not a frivolous um, activity this is actually them becoming a, in accord with the universe and the the poem itself <clears throat> starts to look how I imagine uh, what I think of when I think of English poetry. I'll just show you, just by the look of it. It has that look and feel and sound. It has alternating rhyme. I don't know about hexameters and pentameters and things like that. I'm sure it's in there. But it's, it's an amusing poem because he literally starts talking about um, the stars and planets and that is what he's using to persuade Penelope so this guy really wants that dance I'll read, I'll read you a portion um, for when you breathe the air and order moves now in now out in time and measure true and when you speak so well she dances loves that doubling oft and oft redoubling new with thousand forms she doth herself endo. For all the words that from your lips repair are not but tricks and turnings of the air. The, the poem wasn't terrific. Um, it, it, it also wasn't terrible. It, it felt kind of, kind of plain and the premise being much better than what's on the page um it's it's amusing though and sir john davies uh he planned an event he wanted to have um this this, this big party for queen elizabeth and this poem was going to be read in a like a big hall and it was going to be filled with dancers so it's going to be this poem about uh dance and then this huge dance floor and a big dance was going to burst out. So yeah, he, he was, sounds like he was quite a showman. I don't know anything about him, but that, that sounds like a pretty cool thing. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, uh, a really interesting idea. I love the idea of um, writing uh, additional or missing scenes in, in um, Homer's epic. That, that sounds really cool. And it was convincing. It, this is a, a great little episode, um, but uh, I, I probably won't really... It's not, it's not like I'm going to remember any of these lines, but it was cool. Um, so yeah, this is Orchestra by Sir John Davies. Um, let me know if you've read it. Let me know if you like it. I liked it fine, but uh, you know, it wasn't the, the best English poetry I've ever read. Um, and yeah, so leave a comment if you would like, and thank you for watching.